Queen Elizabeth II is dead at 96. She reigned over the United Kingdom for 70 years making her Britain's longest reigning monarch. As the island nation and people around the world process their iconic leaders passing, Operation London Bridge, the plan outlining Britain's next steps in the coming days, is underway. That plan has been in the works for years, and several reports have pieced together the details of what is likely to unfold with the Queen's funeral arrangements and the Crown. But the location of the Queen's death Thursday has added a wrinkle to Operation London Bridge, triggering a contingency plan known as Operation Unicorn. Details of Operation London Bridge first leaked in The Guardian in May 2017, describing what would happen during the 10-day period from the day after the death and the funeral at Westminster Abbey followed by interment in St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Here are a few highlights of what is to come ahead under Operation London Bridge, based on information from the Foreign Press Association of London. A newsletter fit for a king, subscribe to Keep Calm and Carry On, a newsletter answering all of your questions about the royal family following Queen Me. Because the Queen died at her Balmoral estate in Scotland, a contingency plan dubbed Operation Unicorn has kicked into gear. Under this plan, the Queen's body will remain in Scotland for a number of days, according to the press association, before being transported likely by plane to London, 